For hundreds of years now, humans have tattooed their mark on the Earth's skin. Every day, her lush, green landscape is transformed more and more into a concrete jungle. But wild places still do exist. I'm so grateful for places like this and having the ability to get out there and enjoy them. Places where you can lose yourself in mother nature. Places where only for the briefest of moments she reveals you to the world before welcoming you back into her warm embrace called sanctuary. I invite you to come along with me as I travel down this old Florida river in search of a little sanctuary and a few fish. And by the end of the video, hopefully I've inspired you to do some exploring of your own so we can grow a deeper appreciation for these few wild places that we have left so we can better preserve and protect. I appreciate you joining me on this journey. So let's hop in the kayak, float down the river, and catch a few fish. There we go. Second bass of the day. That is a nice, healthy river bass. Awesome. Let's let him go. Another nice river chunk. Awesome. right underneath that tree, right where he's supposed to be. Man. Hook's really got him pinned right in the corner of the mouth.
This is a big, big river bass. Look at that on the Guggen Squad revolver all day. Top water all day. This is such a beautiful fish. Look at the patterns on them. I mean, this fish is so lit up. Those gorgeous stripes. Awesome. It doesn't get much better than this. We are in old, old Florida. And this is a nice old bass. All right, girlfriend. Let's get you unhooked. Oof. One last look, nice fish, about four pound river largemouth in Florida. As I traveled further down the river and the day progressed on, the sun began to threaten as it loomed overhead, but the river she continued to provide, and its canopy kept me protected, giving me the energy and confidence that I needed to see how far I could make it down this old Florida river. Okay, <laughs> I've been catching more and more of these lately. Wow, that is so cool. Big mouth sleeper. Uh oh. There we go. go.
With each passing mile, the river was becoming more and more difficult to traverse. But it seemed like after every obstacle, the next river bend held a new and exciting surprise, which kept me yearning to discover more. Right. there we go we're getting close to the ocean this is a very brackish water bass awesome love to see it bass can actually tolerate a pretty decent amount of salt water too so really cool a few more twists and turns downstream and I was forced to make a decision it was becoming increasingly more difficult to traverse down the river, so I finally decided to turn around and head back upstream. When you're making these river runs, it's important to remember that for every mile you travel downstream, you'll have to turn around and make that same trek back upstream against the current. And being out here for about five hours, I think it was about time to make that journey back. The journey back to the vehicle would be much quicker as I wouldn't be fishing and I would just be taking in the sights and sounds of the river and enjoying my time out in nature. This was such a wonderful experience out on the river and that's not solely attributed to the amazing fishing, but also taking in everything that the river had to offer. It is such a gorgeous place. The serenity that the river provided was an important reminder that you shouldn't be in such a rush to the final destination that you miss out on the journey. This day's journey down the river has got me beckoning for more and I will be back very soon. Again, I wanna thank you guys for joining me on this trip down the river. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I hope to see your smiling faces in the next video. Till then, my name's Eric. This is the Flowbass channel. I'll see you next time. Peace out.